what's up guys today we are here at the yellow farmers market and i'm going to take you around and show you what they have how much everything costs i'm going to show you what i'm buying if you're new to this channel please take a moment and subscribe down below so let's go check out the market so there's two different sides to this farmer's market. One side is all crafts and gifts. I'm gonna show you that after, but this side is all food. So we're gonna walk around here, check out my favorite vendor, and then I'm just gonna show you everything that they have. So a lot of the stands here sell some similar things. You're gonna see a lot of papayas, um, you're gonna see a lot of whatever fruit is super in season. So if there's a lot of lychees, you're gonna see lychees at almost every stand. But every stand has something slightly different and they have slightly different prices. So it does make sense for you to walk around and check out different prices. A lot of stands have hydroponic tomatoes too that are pesticide free, which is really great. And ginger, turmeric, and things like that. This is cacao fruit. If you've never seen it, it's really cool. Um, I'm not gonna buy it because I don't actually like eating the fruit. Uh, but you just slice it open and it has all of those cacao beans inside of it and there's a little white flesh around it It's like a fruit and it's slightly sweet, but it's like kind of like meh. The bean is really where the money's at. Or you could make it your whole plate. Yeah, so big. There's another cool fruit right there. It's called yeah. star apple or caimicho in Spanish. And you cut it open and there's like this gooey white sweet stuff and it's shaped like a star. I'm gonna cut it open later and show you what it looks like inside. It's so beautiful. So guys, this is Pam. She's awesome. She has a farm in Calipana, right? Right. And she has a stand here at the market and I love buying her stuff. She has my favorite stand here. Usually I like to grab a box here and fill up because I'm getting a lot of stuff. These are one of my favorite fruits. They're called Chico Sapotes or Sapodillas and they taste like brown sugar. They're super sweet, very juicy, very delicious. This is another really awesome fruit. It's called a Mame Sapote and Sapote just means sweet fruit and this fruit is kind of like a really super sweet sweet potato and you don't have to cook it, you can eat it raw and you can see the flesh inside is kind of like a, an orangey pinkish color and sometimes it can be even a deep red color but you want to make sure that if you scratch the skin off that it's bright and colorful inside and that means that it's going to ripen up properly. I like my long guns on the stick. These are called rambutans. Definitely in my top five favorite fruit. They taste like um, kind of like pink lemonade to me. They're very refreshing, really good. Uh, they're in the same family as long guns and lychees. The way that you pick a good one is to look for a nice round one. You see how this one is nice and round? That means it's gonna be really juicy. And when you see them kind of like this, where they're long and flat, that means that they're not gonna taste as good, they're not gonna be as sweet and not as juicy. So make sure you look for nice round ones. Okay, so I'm all ready to check out. I've got a nice can of bananas in here. I've got my long guns, rambutans, avocado, lime, cherimoya, mami sapote, and chico sapotes. So I'm gonna check out and I'll let you know how much everything is. We're on the other side of the street now. That's the side with the fruits and veggies. And now we're gonna walk through the craft side. And I probably won't buy anything, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. They're cute. You know you're in Hawaii when moo's and tie-dye are totally acceptable. <laughs> this tour right now we're gonna head back to my house and I'm gonna show you everything I got tell you how much it costs and I'm gonna cut open the star apple so you can see inside of it hey don't tell me why I look like an idiot <laughs> thanks for the help gotta get that shot <laughs> okay guys so we're back in my house 
and we're gonna take a look at what we've got here and I'm gonna tell you how much everything is per pound. So I ate all of my rambutans, so just imagine rambutans right here. Um, and they are really out of season, so they were actually a little bit expensive. They were $4 per pound, but I didn't get that much. I only had like half a pound. Um, but it's definitely one of my favorite fruits, so it was worth it. Um, these, I think, were about $2 a pound. Um, this guy is $2.50 a pound, the Mame Sapote. The Chico Sapotes are also $2.50 a pound. Bananas, apple bananas, are $1 a pound. And then cherimoyas and adamoyas, they're typically more expensive per pound. They are around $4 a pound. So I usually just get one for fun every week or every other week. And then, oh, but she gave me half of a free, a free half of cherimoya that's like super ripe. So it's like ready to go right now. And then this avocado was $1. They sell some that are really big sometimes and they're like $2, but this is actually usually a better deal than you can get them in California and they grow them in California too. So it's a pretty good deal. And then their lemons and limes are about 50 cents each. So that's a pretty great deal. Everything that I bought today was $29 exactly, um, which is really not too bad. Um, this is not the staple of my diet. This is kind of like my entertainment fruits, we'll say, and I eat other stuff as a staple. Another thing that I grabbed at the market was this star apple. So I'm gonna cut it open and try it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. It's very beautiful. So if you wanna see the cool star shape, you wanna cut it um, this way with the stem right here and just cut right down the middle. And you can kind of see it. This one's super ripe, but if it's a little bit more firm, you can see all these cool little different sections here. And the part that you wanna eat is the white part. So I'm just gonna squeeze it right into my mouth. Mm. Wow, they're so sweet and creamy. It's really an amazing thing. I've never tasted anything like this before. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be coming to Hilo and you're gonna be checking out this farmer's market. Maybe we can meet up at the farmer's market. And also comment below if you might be interested in moving to Hilo because I am possibly looking for a roommate coming up next month to come out and live here for a few months. So you can let me know in the comments below. Also comment below and let me know what videos you would like to see more of. So remember to subscribe to this channel so I can see you in the next video and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> hey.